Okay, I'm going to show you a method for transferring the things you have saved in the old EBSCO discovery system folders into your new folders into the new EBSCO system. Okay, so here's a little trick I learned. These folders you have, if you have custom folders, these will not go over. These will not transfer over. Okay, what will transfer over is if you have articles out here in this general article folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, let me go into, and if you already just have your articles out here in the general area and you haven't organized them in folders, they should still be there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here to my Math 525 folder, and I have eight articles there. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to move these all to my general folder. And if I click Articles, we now see all of these articles here. There's eight articles there. And they won't show up in the same order. They'll be in a different order. They'll be in the order that uh, the newest or the date of them. And here they're, they're not. I think these are arranged by the, the date that you added them. Okay. So we've got these articles here. Now I'm going to open up the new EBSCO system. Okay, so here's the new EBSCO discovery system. You notice it looks a little different. Now, when I click here, I'm going to sign in to my EBSCO account. Which is the same sign on as the old system. Okay. And when I click on saved now, there are eight records. There are those eight records. Now, like I said, they're in a little different order. Let's see, equivalence and quantifier rules for logic. Let's look and see if we can find that one. Equivalence and quantifier rules for logic. Independent set readings and generalized quantifiers. Independent set readings. And it, and it looks like actually they're in the opposite order. Um, Combining propositional logic. Let me go to this is the new folder. Let me go to the old one. Okay, so the same articles are there. Like I said, what will not transfer over, these folders will not transfer over. So if you want an easy way to transfer all the things you have saved over to the new EBSCO system, what you do, go into one of these folders and put the put all the articles or the books or whatever you have click on them and move them out into the general area so you would click these move to my folder and then the next time you log in you'll probably have to log out and log back in on the new system but the next time you'll notice that they're there so it's kind of a strange way to do it and then if you want you can organize them into folders again here by creating a project, which the project is the new name for folders. You can see I have a couple of projects here. <clears throat> I could create a project. And then I could go back to saved. And unfortunately, there isn't a, a global thing that I see. Maybe there is. Let's see here. If I click here, can I move all these over to, I don't think that there's a global way to move them to the project like the old way. Let's, let's see though. I'll move this to choose a project math articles. It probably just did that one. Let's go take a look. Yeah. So unfortunately, You'll have to go then into each one of these articles one at a time and move these over. Like that. So that is how you do it. That's how you, if you, if you don't want to lose all your articles, move them out into the general area. And if you have a lot of folders, you might want to do this one at a time with each folder and then they will transfer over to the new system. So I know it's kind of confusing. Let me know if you have any questions.